I think when I was 10 years old, the concept of friendship was kind of weird to me. Like, I had friends, but I couldn't quite put my finger on why I was friends with them. The reason why I say this is because when I was in the 5th grade, my best friend at the time also happened to be the worst bully I ever had to deal with in my entire life. And yeah, I know what you're thinking, how could you be friends with someone who beats you up and tortures you every day? Well, to be honest, I don't really know. It was just one of those things that happened. The bully, we'll just call him Francis, was the new kid who had just transferred into our school and coincidentally into my 5th grade class. Which meant one of two things. Either the teacher randomly assigned me to be his buddy since he was new and wanted me to help him acclimate to our school, or I chose to be his friend out of the kindness of my own heart. Well, whichever one it was, the next two years of my life were ruined because of someone's poor judgment. Francis and I practically saw each other every day at school. However, I don't really remember enjoying any of the time I spent with him. He would always do that stupid mocking voice whenever I said anything to him. Hey, do you have a pencil I can borrow? Hey, do you have a pencil I can borrow? Bro, stop. Bro, stop. Shut up. Shut up! And yeah, it was funny on Twitter when it was a Spongebob meme, but in real life it was just really annoying. So try to keep this kind of bullying online, okay kids? Just kidding, cyberbullying isn't cool either. STOP BULLYING! Since we were friends, Francis and I would walk home from school together every now and then, and for some reason, he thought it was funny to just randomly shove me off of the sidewalk. He would shove me so hard that I would fall into the bushes, and sometimes there were no bushes to fall in, so I landed in mud. Meaning I had to walk the rest of the way home looking like I pooped my pants. Since Francis was so much stronger than me, I felt like the only option I really had was to play it off as if it didn't bother me. I remember one time I told him to frick off, but unfortunately that strategy didn't really work that well. But the thing that etched into my memory the most were the dead arms. Practically every time I was with him, Francis would just punch me super hard in the arm for no reason. And this actually became quite the issue because I was part of a local swim team during that time, meaning I had to take off my shirt, thus exposing my bruised arms. I remember one day my dad was with me at swimming practice and he saw the bruises and he said to me, Aya, Billy, yeah. where did you get those bruises from? And for some reason, all I could say was, I, I fell. I couldn't tell my dad about my school bully. I think the reasoning behind that was because if I told my dad and he ended up telling a teacher about what was happening at school, Francis was gonna know that I snitched and my butt would have been toast. But the weirdest part about all of this was that despite him bullying me practically every day, Francis was still the guy who would hit me up to hang out the most. He didn't have many other friends and I was really the only one he would come talk to whenever he was bored. And I think because of that, I kind of felt bad for Francis. But that was a stupid way of thinking. So one day I decided enough was enough. I was tired of having bruised arms all the time, so I made the conscious decision to just stop associating myself with Francis. I actively avoided him at school, and at lunch I started sitting with other kids. And eventually, the kids that I sat with became my new friends, and my Francis problem was finally resolved. And you might be asking why I didn't do this sooner. Well, to be honest, I think I was kind of afraid of losing a friend. Like, yeah, he was a jerk who wailed on me every day, but at the same time, Francis was the person I spent the most time with, and I guess it felt kind of weird just abandoning the person who I hung out with every day. Looking back, 5th grade me had this idea that being friends with someone meant that I was supposed to put up with all of their bad sides, which is why I stayed friends with Francis as long as I did. But thankfully, I finally came to my senses and stood up for myself, and to this day, I never regret that decision. You know, there were actually two times I saw Francis outside of school as an adult. Remember when I used to work as a boba barista. One time Francis and a couple of his friends, who I also hated, came into the shop that I worked at. I was in the back room when this happened, but I remember hearing their stupid laughter. I peeked out of the corner to see if it was really him, and sure enough it was. Okay, I'm just gonna stay back here. Oh, what's that boss? You need me to wash some dishes? <laughs> if you say so. The second time I saw him was in Las Vegas. I was just standing in the Venetian hotel lobby and he just walks past me. Like who does he think he is? So in conclusion, if any of you guys are in a similar position as I was, I want you to listen up. You need better friends. It's okay if you're friendless for a while, just stop punching yourself in the face by letting your friends punch you in the face. You should be the one not getting punched in the face. By the way, I have some merch available for sale now. One of the designs was made by my friend Jackadamia, and the other one was made by my friend Cav Lin. If you buy one of their designs, a portion of the profits will go to them. So support me, support the channel, and support these guys by buying that merch. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Be better.